Hi, Tracy here with BibleJournalingMinistries.com and in this video I am doing an unboxing of the Artsa The Holy Land Delivered subscription box. This one is from the land of Negev and I am super excited. This is box number nine of their total running and I always love these boxes. They're my favorite. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so if you follow my channel at all, you know that the Arts of Boxes are my absolute favorite. I love them. They, for me, uh, really help me to go like, look, girl, you know, you know, you're not going to Israel anytime soon. So enjoy it. Enjoy the box. <laughs> you know, pretend and have a fun, delightful experience, even though you can't go. So I am just thrilled to see the new box from Negev. And in the Arts of Boxes, if you haven't, you know, experienced them before, there's quite a bit of stuff you get in them and they're really a great deal. So I will show you in the description my discount code so that you can get a deal, uh, probably, probably the best deal you can get on it. So hopefully you'll look in the description box, you'll see your coupon code and you will get the best deal on these boxes. So if you do love the Arts of Box, do let me know in the comments. I would love to share in that joy with you. So for this month we have, oh, usually let me start with this. You get this amazing card. Oh, let's look, wait, wait, there's a card here. Hold please, hold please. Let's see what they're saying with the card. Uh, it says, before you dive in, I wanna extend a warm thank you from myself and the entire Artsa team and all of our artisans and charities that we work with. None of this would be possible without you. Your support meets the world to us. As a direct resort, result of your support with this quarter's Negev box, we were able to champion an additional eight small Israeli businesses and incredible charities. Since founding Artsa two years ago, you have helped support over 70 small Israel, Israeli businesses and charities, many of whom were on the brink of closure as a result of the pandemic. Many of these businesses owners have cried with gratitude, explaining to us that as a direct result of your support, they were, they were able to keep their respective business and organizations open and running. With your support, every box is making a difference. We've been working around the clock and some extraordinary, extraordinary surprises for our next Christmas box. Oh my goodness, the Christmas box, you guys. Totally awesome. It says, and I can't wait for you and those that you are gifting these boxes to open them. I hope that you love your Negev box as much as we love putting it together. Warmest blessings. Oh, look at that. It's so nice to know that, you know, through these boxes, we literally support families and businesses that otherwise would have gone under. Um, so here is the card. So every time you get one of these boxes, you get one of these amazing cards that you can use. I mean, it's really thick. So you can frame it, you can put it in a journal, you can put it in a binder and just go back and reference it. Kind of reminds me of the cards you used to get back in like the 70s through the mail. <laughs> When you're, when I was little, they used to have like these little National Geographic cards and stuff and I always wanted them. I just, you know, didn't get them, but that's okay. <laughs> I have been blessed so many ways. <laughs> but we have here, it just tells you a little bit about Negev and then it tells you um, some Hebrew so that you can learn Hebrew and it gives you the pronunciation and then the English. Um, so this is a morning blessing. And then the verse is Psalm 126, 4 that says, The Lord has done great things for us and we are filled with joy. Restore our fortunes, Lord, like streams in the Negev. Oh, and that is just beautiful. Beautiful pictures of Negev. And just look at that. My goodness. So awesome. And then what you have here is you'll have some postcards and some recipe Looks like there's a crossword here for this month. So we have a crossword. Well, this one looks like a postcard. Then we have, oh, the, the um, oh, I'll never say this right, the Dukkha yogurt soup. Let me know if I said that right. Oh, that looks good. 
That one has onions, garlics, olive oil, ch um, chopped pumpkin, sweet potato mix. Delicious. I'm into pumpkin right now too, are you? Um, this one has, you put yogurt, coconut milk, and you put the spice one that they're giving. I think we'll get the spice one. So I'm super excited about the recipe. And then we have the postcard. You guys know how much I love to make the recipes. I mean, this is such an experience and fun thing for me. If you like these unboxings, please don't forget to give this video a like and let me know in your in the comments what your favorite one of the items that are included. I would love to know what you enjoy. So let's go ahead and open this up here. And I always share this with Taylor and Lonnie and the kids, and they always get to choose one thing out of here that they that they like to have or they would like to use. So I already know what Taylor's gonna pick. <laughs> so let's start with that. This is the Ar the Argot Organic Wellness Green Clay and Lemonaria facial mask for all skin types it's certified organic and vegan so i know she's gonna i i already know my niece and she is just going to go gaga over this so let me see if i can find that here here it is so with this you get a card that shows the small business look how cute they are the artisan is esther lachman and um, it says the artisan, um, it says the item is the deep cleansing clay mask. And it says your item at the end of a long day rinsed with warm water is how you can enjoy that. So you put it on your face, you rinse it with warm water. It gives you a little bit of her, her story. Um, it says that, um, I'll just kind of give you a little bit. It says, after traveling the world extensively, spending her time learning from traditional natural healing experts, Esther Lachman decided to follow her lifelong passion and study natural pharmaceutics in the U.S. Esther started to research and experiment at home using natural plants and natural oils. With a slow start and humble beginning, Esther has gone on to found her company, Argot. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Um... And she's published two very successful books and was appointed as faculty head at the Israel Herbal College. It says all ingredients used in every Argot product are grown and sourced from her own organic farm located in the Negev Desert near Gerar River, where Abraham and Isaac dug their wells. How cool is that? So let's take a peek at this. Oh, I can tell you right now, it smells really good. I'm going to open it so you can see how it comes, but what beautiful packaging. This looks amazing. And so it is a green clay. Oh, it's really thick too, guys. Super thick, beautiful clay. And it smells wonderful. It smells just like a spa. Oh, she's gonna love it. She's gonna love it. So I'm gonna put this back in. It smells just like a spa, you guys. So wonderful. I just, I love it. <laughs> and I know she will definitely love it. So thank you so much, Artsa, for sending this box every month. It is so fun to play with everything inside. Oh, this is probably my favorite. Oh, look at that. I don't know if this is like the bonus item or not. Let's see. Better go in, in order of these. Better get go in order of these cards here. So let's do the card here. So this card here. The item is a handmade ceramic dish with an olive leaf. That is what this is. And it says, um, the artisan is ADI residents with Down syndrome and how to enjoy as a decorative serving dish. So let's take a peek at this. Oh, 
Oh, that is beautiful. This, you know, it kind of matches the, um, the, the olive oil pottery that we got a month, a quarter or two ago from them that was, that was holding the olive oil, if you guys remember. But look at that. It's a little serving dish. And it says here, this stunning handmade and hand-painted ceramic plate was lovingly created by Addy, the Ability Boutique. The ADI residents are children, adolescents, and adults with severe disabilities who created these plates as part of their rehabilitative vocational workshop sessions. The proceeds from each sale provide long-term opportunities for creative exploration, life skill development, and personalized growth. ADI provides individualized growth plans and special services needed not only to grow, but to thrive, heal, and return to their lives and the community at large with tangible opportunities for encountering disability, raising awareness, and promoting acceptance. Wow. Just beautiful. It says they decided on an olive leaf pattern, a symbol of the Holy Land, since the time of the Bible to remind you of the land of Israel every time you see the dish. It's just gorgeous. That is so gorgeous. I could just see, you know, put a little bit of butter on this, <laughs> a little bit of olive oil, dip your, your delicious bread in there. That is just very beautiful. Oh, so beautiful. I'm going to just put it aside. We're going to see what else is in this awesome box, you guys. Every quarter they send out one of these boxes and it's always a fun delight to see what's inside all right so let me pull this card here this one is it looks like granola artisanal israeli granola let me move the box out of the way i just feel like it's kind of taking up some space here and i keep touching it um, this is super berry granola, crunchy whole grain oats and seeds with mixed berries. Um, some of you guys might want to know um, that the oatmeal does contain gluten. So for those of you guys who are gluten free, you might need to gift this to someone. This one has liquid chicory fiber, concentrated apple juice, sunflower seeds, coconut, dried cranberries, currants, flax seeds, dried blueberries, sesame seeds, pumpkin seeds, chia seeds, and cinnamon. It says it contains gluten, oat, sesame, nuts, and coconut. May contain um, traces of gluten, tree nuts, almond, cashews, hazelnuts, pecans, soy, and peanuts. Well, let's give this a try. The artisans are Galat and Danny. And it says enjoy with a fresh dollop of breakfast yogurt and berries. It says for husband and wife. Galit and Danny. This granola represents the core of their company. Healthy, nutritious, flavorsome, and rich in all the natural goodness that the wonderful land has to offer. In 2019, Galit and Danny found that they founded their bakery with one founding principle. How can we create a healthy and natural food without compromising on flavor? We want to create the most delicious snacks and treats to go along with our morning coffee without worrying about being unhealthy. So they created this granola blend mixed with healthy superfoods such as chia seeds to give you that extra morning boost. All right. Well, I love a good granola, especially in my yogurt. So that's what it looks like. I can see the pumpkin seeds. I can see the oats in here. It does look really healthy. Mmm. 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 You can definitely taste the berries in there. This is going to be delicious in my morning yogurt. Mmm. 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 And, you guys, there's no added sugar here, which I love because you guys know how much sugar can be in granola. But the total sugar is three grams. And it's zero added sugar. So your sugars are really coming from your dried blueberries, your concentrated apple juice, your dried cranberries. It's really all natural. It says best before 5-3-23. Look how beautiful that is. 
and it smells delicious. How exciting. <clears throat> All right, let's see what else we have here. Okay. This um, actually says what's included in the box. Look how beautiful that is. So we haven't looked at the, it looks like, like Jaka Spice. Um, so let's look at that because that's next. And it comes with the Jaka recipe. And I don't have an, um, I think that is it for the artisan cards that I can tell. But let's open this up and see. So this is Jaka Spice, product of Israel. What's included? Roasted ground peanuts, coriander seeds, roasted sesame seeds, cumin, and salt. May contain wheat, soy, tree nuts. And it says keep in a cool, dry place away from sunlight. Let's see who makes this. Um, it says best before March 1st, 2023. And let's see, manufactured by, I'll never say it right. <laughs> but it looks like they're out of Bethlehem. That's so cool. I love trying all these new things. It says in the meadows of Bethlehem and Galilee and, and, and spices of the highest quality. Its secret magic lies within the agricultural methods developed over 70 years of farming the soil of the region. Our vision is to spread the culture of spices throughout a wide range of spice blends for cooking, creating a connection between all those who enjoy a product, the land and people of Israel. Oh, I can definitely smell the cumin in there. But this is, yeah, they definitely, I see some nuts in there. Well, this will be fun to try the, mm. Mm. yeah, I definitely could taste the cumin in there. It's delicious. So this will be something that I can make for the family that's super easy to make. And I just need to get some additional yogurt because I have some Greek yo yogurt. That might work. One and a half cups of yogurt. Um, Boy. You use sweet potato and pumpkins. This looks amazing. This is gonna be delicious. So I am definitely gonna make this for the family as soon as I get a hold of a pumpkin. I do have a sweet potato, but I don't have any pumpkin. Oh, and I have I have almost everything else I need. Butter, salt, onion, pepper, garlic. You need the spice blend. You only need two tablespoons of this. So this will last forever. You need two tablespoons of olive oil, Three cups of coconut milk or water. I'll definitely use the coconut milk. That'll be delicious. Three cups of chopped carrots. One and a half cups of yogurt. Three cups of chopped pumpkin and sweet potato. And then finally, char chopped parsley. Wow. That is going to be amazing. So we talked about the Duke of Spice. We talked about the ceramic dish. We talked about the artisanal granola. We talked about the deep cleansing face mask. And now they have a Connecting Hearts game. Let's see. It says, a game to deepen connection and understanding and create meaningful conversation with family and loved ones. And you guys know how much we love to play games in our family. When our kids were little, we used to have family game night every Sunday. Now that they're older, they work full time, so and Ashton goes to school full-time so we don't get as much as we like to so these are just prompt cards this one says something I would like to invent why I love Israel so much three things I have besides my bed so they're they're prompt cards great conversation so when you're around the dinner table you can actually use these for prompt cards let me see it says a game that makes every participant feel included. Can I not get the lid on it? Come on, get the lid on it, girl. It says um, the pile of cards is placed at the center of the table with the questions facing downward. At their turn, each player picks up a heart, reads the question out loud, and then the other players attempt to answer the question, guessing what the other player who picked up the card first 
guessing what the other player who picked up the card does first when he gets home. Oh, oh. so um, you read the question and then people try to guess. It says, after everyone shares their answer, the, pr the, the player whose turn it was gives the heart to whoever answered most accurately. The next, oh, so it's basically the prompt. You read the prompt and people have to guess what you would say. That's fun. That'll be fun during a dinner um, conversation. Okay, it says, for our premium subscribers, bring your own creative flair to this gift with your own hand-painted Moroccan, Moroccan shalom, um, shalom tile. Founded by social entrepreneur, um, uses art and design as tools for social change. All right, let's see. That must be what this is. Okay, so just for you guys all know, to know that in your arts of boxes, you always get, you know, all the senses. So you get, not only do you get to learn about Israel in, in, in this month um, or this quarter, um, the Gev, you also get to taste it and experience and smell it and feel it. So it's it's definitely something that if you are interested, um, it is a lot cheaper. It is a lot cheaper than buying an airfare ticket and going to Israel. <laughs> Although it is on my bucket list, you guys. One day it might happen. Okay, this says, Crane Together a Piece of Israel. Um, direction for designing a Moroccan tile. Oh, looks like a craft kit. So here's the tile and here is stickers and paint and things like that. Okay, well, I am a crafty girl. I think I'm gonna try my hand at this Moroccan tile. That sounds, this is so fun. Look at that beautiful, um, nice paintbrush. All right, I'm gonna try my hand at this. So if you wanna see my final, wait to the end <laughs> of the video. <laughs> and I'll show you what it looks like. So we have a crossword here as well. And then we have two postcards. And then it looks like there's some, my, maybe some bonus items in here. I'm not seeing them on, I'm not seeing them on the, on the list here. So we have the spice mix. We have the ceramic dish. We have the granola, delicious. We have the facial mask and the heart game. Um, but wow, look how beautiful these are. These are your little crosses. I absolutely love, oh, I just love them. Maybe what you can do is you can put them in your dish and just kind of set them in your dish. But that is awesome. If you have any ideas, what would you do with these? Let me know, because I think they'd be great. Um, you could put a little uh, thing on the back here and, and use them for ornaments. You could drill a hole in there, use them for ornaments. Or honestly, I would just set them down on my table. Look how beautiful they are. I just love them. And then of course you get, if you're a premium member, you get the mosaic. Um, kit. So I really enjoy these. I wonder which one is your favorite. Um, if Taylor wants to take this, then I won't show you the final, but if she's okay with not having it, I will do the craft because it looks like so much fun. And then I'll show you the final. <laughs> uh, but these are absolutely beautiful. And thank you so much, Artsa, for sending these to us. If you guys have any questions, leave them below. Let me know which one is your favorite. I would love to know. Have a wonderful day.